okay so here's signal flow so I have a sample loop inside the drum machine and it's coming out left right out I have the sample coming in on left right on 7 and 8 and then 9 through 14 are the other the six additional outputs on the drum machine so 7 and 8 the outputs I are directly above the line inputs of 7 and 8 so I have the line inputs from um, 1 through 8 right there in the patch bay and then 7 and 8 are directly over it and then the way I have it set up in the patch bay where it's normal where it's the input is going directly in it so I don't need to use a patch cable that way it doesn't look like that right there so the signals going in 7 and 8 and the line inputs and it's meeting up over here normally I'd use channels 1 through 8 but um, one of my channels is messed up so I bumped everything over to 9 through 16 so those are the line inputs on channels 9 through 16 and 15 and 16 correspond to 7 and 8 so I have the drum loop coming in 15 and 16 the mic and line buttons are both pushed in um, the line level signal is like keyboard and drum machine and mic is like microphone so um, they're both pushed in the line level if uh, we're using mics and they'd be put in the out position so the trims on 15 and 16 are turned all the way down and the flip switch the mic line or tape switch is set to mic or line if it was in the down position to tape that would be only if we were listening to playback from like 8 ads or a uh, 24 track analog the signals coming in on 15 and 16 and down here in the bus section we're going to want it to go to bus 7 and 8 so push the 7 and 8 bus and then we're going to go up to the pans and we're going to pan it so for the bus for it to go to bus 7 pan it hard left for it to go to bus 8 pan it hard right and I have the channel faders labeled MV left right and I'm going to bring those both up to unity so now that they're at unity I'm going to I'm sending the signal to bus 7 and 8 so we're going to go down here to bus 7 and 8 bring those up to unity so I'm going to keep my eye on the meters and I'm going to turn up the trims on 15 and 16 so now it's sending the signal out of the mixing board into the back of the digi 003 interface into input 7 and 8 the inputs in the back of the 003 which is going over here on the Pro Tools on aux 7 and 8, I have it set up MV coming in at 7 and 8 on the auxiliary. Then the sound of what you're hearing is coming from over here, 003, the outputs 23 and 24. The same way how I had the left right outputs of the drum machine, I have the patch bay normal. It's doing the same thing, so Digi 003 is the sound outputs. And um, I don't need a patch cable because I have the event, which are the speakers, right underneath the inputs 23 and 24. So it's normal going into the event monitors, which are right here. And that's how you're hearing everything. And here we have the volume for the monitors, how loud we want it. 